So a pair of blondies are getting some, one is getting their debut and one is getting a rightfully powerful mini rework with his EX+. Plus. Jack is joining us from Final Fantasy Type-0 and Ramza is getting his EX+. Plus. As always, really quick before we start, uh, I want to give a big shout out to the Tonberry Troop for the lovely infographics that are displayed in this video. If you are not following them on any form of their social media uh, that I am currently aware of, such as their Facebook and Reddit, be sure to go check them out, give them a like, give them a follow. They are a wonderful group of people who help out the community a ton. So let's go ahead and hop right into it and start off with the boy who kills himself. Yeah, I, I, I look, I haven't played Type-0, so this man confused the hell out of me, but uh, <laughs> Jack's big gimmick is he drops down to 1 HP with, Z, with his EX, um, which allows him to gain access. It doesn't really allow him to get access, it's just like, it's a big risk for a big reward, because his EX is stupid powerful, but let's talk about that in a second. Jack's biggest gimmick, though, however, is after he attacks a target that is being broken, or is broken, um... Jack will actually follow up with a six hit. I'm saying that because of uh, the EX Plus actually increasing it to six hits. We'll follow up with a six hit uh, single target HP attack. Now, one of Jack's biggest thing is with his Soul Harvest uh, frame buff. After he uh, uses EX, he'll actually have three turns of evasion and three turns of an HP regen that is based off of all damage being dealt. So even though Jack is killing himself down to one HP, Jack is, will actually have the ability to self-sustain himself with heals thanks to this uh, thanks to this buff, also allowing him to stay out of danger with a 100% evasion rate, which is really nice. His other frame buff just increases his overall stats as his attack of Max Brave. Uh, his first skill is a um, is a single target HP attack that actually does increase crit damage if he's attacking a target that's not targeting himself. His second skill is an AoE uh, split damage. His EX is a stupidly hard hitting EX, uh, full AoE, um, like full AoE, double executing. I believe it has like, I don't remember the hit count. Uh, you'll see it on the infographic uh, when that pops up, but um, it does have full AoE, so Jack has a lot of a lot of options as a damage dealer. He has a lot of AoE options, he has a lot of single target options, um, and this actually really makes Jack shine, especially since he has consistent uh, has a consistent way of getting off additional attacks. Because let's be honest, attacking a broken target or breaking a target is not that hard. Jack can do that with literally no problem whatsoever. So. The thing with Jack is, even with all of this, Jack is still just in Diamond Dozen DPS unit. Like, he doesn't do anything for the party, he's not inflicting any debuffs, he's not doing anything crazy to assist the party, but what Jack does, he does it well. Jack excels so hard in damage, and much like characters like Tifa, um, characters like, characters, no, not Tifa, let's not talk about Tifa, characters like Sephiroth, Golbez, where their main thing is damage, Jack actually does it to the point where it's enough to warrant bringing him to the team. He's literally there to fulfill DPS, and he does it so goddamn well that it's enough to want to just bring him in general. You can fill your other your other teammates with characters with other different kinds of sh shenanigans. Oh, and I did forget to mention, there is one good thing going for Jack. Um, he has turn manipulation, so his second skill will actually scoot him in front of the target when they are being broken. That's incredible. He has awesome turn manipulation to keep him uh, keep him going. He has uh, some pretty decent longevity. His HP attack plus plus. Is it, it's only a two-hit single target HP attack with 120% overflow, but it's still serviceable. Jack, honestly, I'm just going to come out right and say it. A lot of people have differing opinions on Jack. I think Jack is important for the Chaos Era. Honest to God, even even now, like I, I know on the JP side he's really fallen off, especially because like we're, we're getting like new bursts and stuff like that. But I honestly think Jack still holds his own through the entirety of the Chaos era. Even you can still even use him when we get to the Lufenia era. That's how firmly I believe that Jack's ability and damage is just there. Obviously, he will get outclassed as we go a little further, as all DPS units eventually do. But I think he holds his own well enough to give him a nod to say he's important for the Chaos Era. Uh, you're going to want to 3 out of 3 him. That's the way to go with all DPS units. You want to take a, take a full advantage of the fact that their their damage is 
there. And like I said before, there are some differing opinions on Zack, uh, Zack, Jack. Um, there are some differing opinions on Jack. A lot of people say, ah, you know, you, you can you can just skip him and whatnot. This is my personal opinion on what I think on the character. I do think he is important for the Chaos Era. That's just me. Take that as you will. Take all the information I'm supplying as you will if you just do decide to pull. But let me tell you, if you do pull for this man, you won't be disappointed if you build him up. Now let's move on to... Oh, this... <laughs> this EX Plus is so goddamn good. So Ramza... All he got was in the X Plus. That's all, all he really needed. He got a rework prior. Um, now, a lot of people are thinking, oh, well, dude, he only has five ability usages of both Shout and Galvanize. His, his longevity still is not there. Well, if you remember, Ramzo was the early Chaos MVP as a support character. This pretty much returns to a strong form. So, is the EX Plus what it does for him? This allows him to start off the quest with one, one stack of both um, Pep and Shout. Now, with this, this allows Ramza to get up much quicker. And the thing is, now with the EX Plus, depending on how uh, depending on how far you have the EX Plus, so we're gonna, obviously we're going to talk about it at three out of three, uh, will actually increase once uh, the overall EX ability more once you get Ramza to three stacks of Shout. At max EX Plus, if you get once you get Ramza to three stacks of Shout, his e, his EX will turn into Ever Enervate Plus Plus Plus, which will provide him with a super heavy Brave gain. And based off of his attack stat, um, t changes it to six hits, two hundred percent overflow. Oh, with a thirty percent damage dealt drawback to uh to Brave to himself with a massive Brave battery, eighty percent splash damage, and Enervate. The debuff will actually now inflict to all targets. Need I say more? Need I say more? Not only that, it does improve his HP attack plus uh, plus 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 to be a brave gain followed by two uh, two hits, and it'll actually make it so his brave attack plus plus will work exactly the same as before, but it'll actually still give him a free turn. Come on. If, I, if, if there's nothing else that I can say about Ramza, besides him being important, I don't know what else I could say. Ramza is an, a phenomenal, phenomenal attack-based support character. Free turn. Incredible EX that actually comes up really quickly. Um, oh, and I also forgot to mention that his EX will actually now give him two, uh, two turns of Shout. Depending on whatever stack it's on, doesn't matter. It will give him two additional turns, so he now has a, a way to extend his shout outside of just popping the, the ability. Rom's like, come on. What else can I say? Yeah, uh, I would. I will say the only cons that Rom's does have is the brave shaving is not there outside of ZX. ZX will tear them down, but being only reliant on his HP attack plus plus plus. Uh, is a little heavy on the brave shaving side, so you want to make sure that you are cautious of that, uh, especially if you find yourself in a situation where you might need to actually get that break. So that that issue still remains. Uh, the same issue as before is uh, Ramses' auras themselves are not too great. Most of what he's supplying is through his buffs, so you want to make sure that those stay on. You want to make sure you're not running alongside of a character that's going to push those off because Ramza does have some very potent buffs, and then he does supply to the party, so you want to make sure you're not counteracting that. So he's not like a plug into any, any, literally any kind of team kind of character. You want to make sure that you're paying specific attention to certain characters and their buffs. But need I say more? Honestly, I myself cannot say anything other than the fact that Ramsey is important for the Chaos Era. This man is absolutely insane, and I and I love him. I've been having so much fun with him. I've just been a little lazy getting that Diabolos board up which i'll get i'll get it i'll get it i'll get it but he is an absolute blast of a character absolutely phenomenal character definitely three out of three him i know a lot of people say you could probably just uh two out of three him maybe even zero out of three him. i've seen a lot of people run him zero out of three but why would you do that like why would you i don't i don't even know why you would do that just i just three out of three him he's just absolutely incredible but yeah enough gushing uh 
trust me, that was, that was, it was completely biased aside. I do 100% believe that Ramsey is a disgusting character. Like, he is very good. He's very, very good. But that'll pretty much do it for this one, guys. This is a very powerful banner filled with one of probably the best DPS units that we've seen in a minute on a main banner besides, like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, Aranea. Uh, honestly, like, Jack just excels in damage heavily, and Ramza is one of the better attack-based support characters that we have currently, and helps out a ton with a lot of free turns and everything like that. So that'll pretty much do it for me on this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.